Kuzu Zambu and good morning. Today what we are going to do is we are going to discuss the calculation of difficulty index, discrimination power and pattern of response. So in this video we will we will we'll discuss how to calculate difficulty index, how to calculate discrimination power and how to calculate pattern of response for objective item yes for multiple choice item now you all know if you look at the table yes this is one multiple choice item so if you look at the table you all know there are yes there are three distractor and one key so you all know like yes the, the sign with, with this sign is it you all know this is key so in this case b is key a c d are distractor so if you look at the this table now like from top group we yes usually what we do is in item analysis we select for 10 10 students for top group and 10 students from bottom group now from top group five students got correct answer b key and then three students from bottom stood bottom group yes got the correct answer now question number one question number one like is the item level appropriate for testing application now here like it is saying that whether like item difficulty level is is appropriate for the test for the test or not so in this case now what we have to do is that we have to calculate difficulty index and you all know difficulty index is denoted by small letter p and the formula is number of students who who responded correctly divided by number of students in a sample times 100 so if you look at the table number of students who responded correctly is 5 plus 3 so five five students from top group got a correct answer that's why five and three students from the bottom group got correct answer that is three so when we add five plus three it is eight next one is total number of students in the sample this you all know in top group we have a 10 and in the bottom group we have 10 so when we add 10 and 10 plus 10 it is 20 next one so like when we add 5 plus 3 we have 8 8 divided by 20 times 100 so when we yes like yes divide 8 by 20 and then when we multiply with 100 we get 40 percent now we will look at the interpretation table of difficulty index so when we look at the interpretation table you all know that 1 to 25 percent is very difficult 26 to 50 percent is moderately difficult and 51 to 75 percent is easy 76 to 100 percent is very easy so in our case 45 40 percent so if you look at the interpretation table 40 percent is moderately difficult so like we can see that this item is good that if, if you look in terms of difficult index we can see that this if item is very easy or easy then i think you have to modify because we want an item which is neither very difficult nor very easy so moderate difficult is considered as the best item but sometimes it depends on the teacher if you want to challenge students then you can go for very difficult item so here is the 40 percent is moderate difficult so by looking at the difficulty index like we can understand the item but but we have to check the discrimination power first and then we have to make a conclusion now yes so this is the same question now second question is this like does the item discriminate adequately so it is saying that like whether the item whether the question of question or item is is discriminating like poor students from the good students students who like who didn't study from who like who studied so this is very important now you all know discrimination index so you all know discrimination index is denoted by capital D and if you look at the formula the formula is RT minus RB divided by N where RT is number of students who got a correct answer in the top group 
so it's denoted by RT and then RB is number of students who choose the correct answer in the bottom group RB then capital N capital N it says that yes it is number of what students in either of the either of the group so this is important when we calculate discrimina discrimination index now total number of students in either of the sample is 10 but when we when we calculate difficulty index yes the total number of students in the sample is 20 so i think you should be careful now you all know D is called the num a number of students who got correct answer in the top group is 5 and number of students who got a correct answer in the bottom group is 3 divided by 10. That is 2 divided by 10 is 0 .0 0 0.2. Now when we look at the interpretation table, now yes, so 0 0.2. So interpretation table it is uploaded in the slide. Yes, so you can you can check there. 0 0.2 it falls under moderately positive discrimination so this in, this indicates that the item is very good like because it has difficulty index moderately positive difficulty index and if you look at the discrimination also like the discrimination is moderately positive discrimination so we can see that we can retain this question or item now next question is are the distractors performing adequately meaning it is saying that now we know that there yes we know that we have A and C, D are distractor. So it is saying that whether like this distractor A, C, D are they are doing job or not. If like I, if distractors are not like not functional, if they are not effective, then we have to modify the distractor. So in this case, all three distractors A, C, D all are effective and they are performing their job. So we can say that this, the correct answer key correct answer is key and B is key and A, C, D are distractors. So distractors are functional and effective in this case. Now last question, what is your overall evaluation of item? What is your conclusion on the item? So we can say that since the difficulty index is 40% which is more difficult and then discrimination power 0 0.2 and we can say that 0 0.2 is more opposed to discrimination. Therefore now we can say that this item is good and we can retain the item. Now another important question under multiple choice item that is pattern of response. This is very important. So here under this topic we will discuss pattern of response. Now you all know in multiple choice item, item we have a distractor and a key. So main role, yes, like main role of distractor is to like distract students from choosing correct answer, the key. So if you look at the table one, this is not a problem. All the sectors are functional. But if you look at the table table two, so table two also it's okay. But yes, if you look at the sector B, this is fine. It's not a problem. And now if you look at the table three, now we have a problem here. In in a, in this in third one two three three in the third item we have a problem. So you all know correct answer is key is, is A. So if you look at B, C and D, nobody choose B, nobody choose C, nobody choose D. Like all students on top group, they got correct answer. So this this indicates something is wrong with the, the distractor. Because this distract these distractors are not effective or not functional. Now in this case we have to modify this distractor B, C and D. And similarly, yes. So in this case, another interesting thing. Now, even though the correct answer key is C, many students from top group that is choose B, they, they thought correct answer is B. Now, this case is known as Miss Key, M-I-S, Miss K-Y-E, K-E-Y-E-W, Miss Key, Miss Key. So this, this indicates something is wrong with the question. Either like question is wrong or the structures are not all like distractors, some distractors are very effective. So you should be careful with that one. So similarly, we look at the, like, yes, this is fine, the table. So yes, we don't have any problem. So in this case, it was a miss key, see. Oh, nobody choose the correct answer key, it's a miss key. And this case, question is very easy. Like, 
all strings from top group and bottom group they go and all the distractor a c d they are functionless they are not effective we have to modify this distractor in, a, in order to make it effective and functional so this much for today's class so if you have any problem any clarification to be made please what you can do is that you can either write in vchat or in the discussion forum item analysis is also an important topic